Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today and if you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So recently, Shad Luggage was nice enough to send me a set of their new TR40 soft lockable panniers for testing on my Prilia Twig 660. I've been using them for the past couple months, including just uh, last week on a four day ride in Arizona. Today I'm gonna show you how they work and what I feel are the pros and the cons. All right, so the Shad TR40 are a 32 liter per side, quick detachable, waterproofed soft pannier with a locking strap mechanism. They're rated for about 10 kilograms per bag. They cost around $580 just for the bags themselves. But if you need to add a four point rack like I have here on this bike, which you will need uh, for the, to use these bags, that'll bring your total to around $865, which makes it quite a bit less than a lot of the competitors out there if you're pricing out a set of soft panniers and matching racks for your bike. So how do the TR40s work? So the TR40s are a little bit unique in that they have a hard plastic backing uh, on the back of them that attaches to these four point racks. So you'll to attach them, you'll walk up to the bike, you'll open the locking mechanism, you'll slide them under the rack, you'll close the locking mechanism on the, on the uh, bags, and then the bags will then lock with a key cylinder to the rack. The, the key with the key cylinder also controls a mechanism that locks the strap. So the straps have a metal buckle on the end, uh, which there's a sliding lock mechanism, which you could then lock the strap. So right now, somebody can't come up and remove the straps and get into the bag. Of course, being soft luggage made out of, uh, you know, this kind of material, obviously there's nothing to stop a thief from simply coming up with a knife and cutting into your luggage or cutting the straps. Obviously, there's no way to totally prevent that, and that's one of the downsides of using soft luggage. However, for adventure riding, I only recommend soft luggage due to what I feel are the potential injuries uh, that can come from using hard panniers. So some more features of the TR40. Uh, so they've got adjustable straps here, which are nice. They've got uh, two straps on the back and two straps on the front to uh, adjust the sizing, depending on how much load you have in the bags. They also have Molly attachments on the outside and on the front and the back if you wanna include accessories. Now, Shad does include some. They include a, uh, a little carrier bag and also a, a, a fuel canister carrier. I don't have those attached because personally, I didn't really wanna use those. Um, I have some other bags that I might attach if I was going to use these on a long tour, for instance, but they do have all those attachment points. Now, speaking of the construction of the bag, they're not as heavy duty as something like a Moscow Moto Backcountry. They don't have as many layers and they're not going to be, I don't think, uh, quite as durable or as long lasting as a premium option like that. Now they are a two layer bag. So you have the outer Cordura bag and then you have the inner waterproof uh, dry bag, which you roll up, close, and that provides your waterproofing. So the waterproofing is not coming from the exterior bag, which is probably a good thing because if you were to slide and damage the exterior bag, you still have waterproofing because of your inner dry bag. Now in terms of how the racks are, so the Shad four point racks are gonna be bike specific. They do have some for the Touareg. They might have them for your bike. You can go check the website and see. Uh, the racks are pretty slimly designed. They're not too heavy. They fit well to the bike and they seem pretty well constructed. I might like to see a little bit heavier duty brace from this back brace piece, but I rode off-road with these for four days in Arizona and I didn't see any issues or flexing or anything with them. So they seem to be made uh, pretty strong. I just, I don't know why this back piece I just wish was a little bit thicker. All right, so pros and cons to the Shad TR40s. Now I've used a lot of different luggage over the years from almost all the major major manufacturers. Moscow Moto, Giant Loop, SW Motec, uh, Givi. Uh, I could just name a ton, ton of different brands out there that I've used and they all have their ups and downs in my opinion. So the pros on these bags, uh, number one, they're not too heavy. So for a soft pannier system with the racks and everything included, they don't require separate adapters like some bags do. So they're a pretty lightweight. Uh, the other pro for me is the fact that the straps do lock. So a lot of you have asked for, you know, how do you lock your soft luggage? Well, you do have a little bit 
uh, of anti-theft feature, obviously keeping in mind what I said about somebody could just cut into the bags if they really wanted to. I think the waterproof inner bags are a good pro. I know there are bags uh, that have a waterproof outer bag, uh, some of the Wolfmen, some of the Nelson rigs. Those have their own pros and cons. They're a little bit easier to use because you're not dealing with two uh, bags to do up every time. Uh, but if you're to damage the outer bags, you lose your waterproofing. On this, uh, the waterproofing is from that inner bag. Another pro for me, as I mentioned, this the racks fit pretty well to the bike in my experience. Uh, another pro is that these four point racks, Shad also makes uh, rigid hard cases. So if you wanted to, and they fit the same rack, so you could get a set of these racks for your bike. Then you could have soft panniers for adventure riding and you could have hard panniers, hard boxes, if you wanted to do some touring with using the same rack. So that's kind of a nice bonus. So what are the downsides to the Shad TR40? So there definitely are some in my opinion. So the because of the locking strap mechanism, what that means is that when you wanna gain access to the inner main compartment, you're gonna to have to get the key for the luggage out, uh, whether you have it in your jacket pocket or whatever it is, you're gonna to have to put it in, unlock the mechanism, and get those straps out of that locking mechanism to get into your back. In my experience, that adds quite a bit of extra process and time uh, to, to getting into your bag to access your snacks, your water, or a layer for your jacket, or whatever it might be that you need on your ride. One potential way around that would be to keep your day riding essentials either in a tail pack, a tank bag, in a backpack, or something like that. And that's what I ended up doing with these because I found it a little bit too frustrating to get in and out of the panniers often. So if you're somebody who you know you're going to be wanting to get into your panniers a lot throughout the day, then this may not be the best choice for you because of that locking mechanism. Some other cons, uh, the rack system is going to be a proprietary rack system. So although it is kind of a tubular rack, it has some kind of uh, attachments on it and you're probably not going to be able to use these racks if you want to try other bags. So they are proprietary to the Shad luggage. Uh, the other con for me is that the construction is not quite as heavy duty as something like a Giant Loop or a Moscow Moto. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. All right, so short and sweet, I hope this review, this ride tested gear review was useful. Please check out Shad. They have a wide range of luggage options. I'm not sponsored by Shad. They did send me these bags uh, to test out free of charge and I'm grateful for that. But I'm doing it uh, as a service to you to try to test out different luggage systems and report back on how they work. And ultimately the choice is gonna be up to you on what kind of system you decide to go with. So I hope this was useful. Check out Shad's website. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please ride safe and I'll see you out there.